pros and cons of TMS. One of the big pros for TMS is that when patients come in to get their course of TMS, we don't need to make any medication changes. So we can get started with TMS on the medications that you're taking right away. TMS is also very, very safe. Uh, it's been around for well over 10 years. And compared to taking medications, it's also got very, very few side effects. During the time that you're getting TMS, while you're being stimulated, you may feel some discomfort um, in, in your face where the TMS uh, is, is being applied, uh, kind of going down through the, the nerves there. You can feel a tapping sensation like a woodpecker that you end up getting used to, and we uh, let you gradually adjust to that over time. Um, but besides that, there's, there's very few, few side effects. There's a very rare side effect of having a seizure while you're hooked up to the machine. The machine gets turned off, the seizure stops. And there's uh, things that we put in place to keep that from happening, to really minimize the chances of that happening to you. Um, TMS is incredibly effective. We're comparing TMS effectiveness at rates of, let's say, 60 to 70 percent to the effectiveness of adding the next medication to your regimen. And the chances of the next medication helping when you fail, let's say, four medications is like 5 percent. So for individuals who uh, are starting TMS at that point, 60 to 70 percent effectiveness. Those are the big uh, pros for TMS. The cons, one of the big ones is that people just don't know about it. And people who do know about it don't realize that it's been around for 10 years and that it's incredibly effective. I've had, um, sadly, patients who have come to me who I think are great candidates for TMS, who have come back to me and said that their primary care doctor is telling them, nah, I don't know anything about it. I don't think it's really that good or effective a treatment. You know, and it's just a lack of education, which is one of the cons in, in TMS treatment out there. And one that I'm working with videos like this, that to help um, educate the public practitioners, medical doctors, uh, about the effectiveness of, of TMS. There's a pretty big time commitment that's required for TMS treatment. Patients are required to come in five days a week for about seven weeks. It's a long course of treatment. The treatments last about you know 20 minutes. Walking in the door to walking out the door is about 40 minutes in total. Um, and you can drive yourself into treatment, drive yourself out of treatment, there's no um, uh, restrictions on any activities when you leave the office. Insurance uh, has gotten very good at picking up the, the uh, reimbursement for TMS. However, there's still a copay that uh, insurance companies ask patients to pay. So whatever your copay is, whether it's $10 or $20 or $30, you know, for each individual visit that you make to your doctors, that's what you would be paying for uh, your TMS treatment. So if you're coming in for 35 treatments, you, you multiply that by your copay, and it can be something from, you know, $350 to close to $1,000. So that's a significant con to a treatment, it's significantly more than, than a medication copay, let's say. Um, and lastly, the, the availability of TMS. There aren't that many practices that have TMS. We're the only one in Saratoga Springs that have TMS. The next closest uh, is, is down in Albany. Uh, but availability is, is still... Um, a con, you have to find the practitioner and uh, ideally they're close enough for you that you can travel uh, for the 35 sessions. Those are the pros and cons of TMS.